Good morning, church family. Pastor Dan here. And to visitors, welcome to our daily devotional channel here at Rockhampton Baptist. As the COVID-19 crisis has developed and evolved, it's been interesting to observe our reactions to COVID-19 over the last few months. From there's a new virus that's contagious and spreading in China in January to restrictions globally in March and April on when you can go outside and how many people you can meet with seem to escalate so quickly. And now with all these restrictions, it has left Christians around the world asking, how do we be the church in this time? That brings us to our reading this morning, which comes from Matthew 16, verse 16 to 19. Simon Peter replied, you are the Christ, the son of the living God. And Jesus answered him, blessed are you, Simon by Jonah. For flesh and blood has not revealed this to you, but my Father who is in heaven. And I tell you, you are Peter, and on this rock I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. I will give you the keys to the kingdom of heaven, and whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatever you loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Such a powerful declaration and passage here. And as Christians, as the church has changed, we're, we can be easily swayed that it's programs and officials functions that we've been running over the last many years will grow and build the church. And with all these closed down now and gatherings limited to two people, how will we, without our programs and functions, build the church? How will more people come to know Jesus? This passage draws us to a declaration from Jesus. And Jesus said, I will build my church. He didn't say you will build my church. He said that he would. So during this time, Jesus is simply building his church through different methods. And it's amazing during this time how the church has reacted uh, by going online, engaging in those online spaces in various methods, you know, working out how we help and assist our community during this time with letters of offers going around to our neighbours. So one thing we can be sure during this time, that he will continue to use his people, the church, just like he did Peter and the disciples in the Gospels, to share this Gospel message, to share this good news. So if I can encourage you today to continue to share this Gospel message on your front lines, which is most likely your neighbours during this time. And I truly believe that during this season that the church will grow. This declaration of Jesus that was true back then is true today, that Jesus will build his church. Let me pray with you this morning. Dear God, we just thank you for this season. Lord, we pray that you would equip us and engage us to, to reach people on our front lines. Lord, help us to share this gospel message and find new ways in which we can do that during this season. Lord, equip us encourage us and motivate us each day to serve you. Amen. Keep walking with God. Talk to him. Let him talk back as you read the Bible. And when he does, speak, trust and obey him. Keep looking for opportunities to bless others. See you soon, church.